Marie M. Dolly, African American biochemist, born 1921, died 2003. Marie M. Dolly was the first African American woman to earn a PhD in chemistry. Throughout her career, her research interests focused on areas of health, particularly the effects on the heart and arteries of such factors as aging, cigarette smoking, hypertension, and cholesterol. In addition to research, she taught for 15 years at Yeshiva University's Albert Einstein College of Medicine. Marie Maynard Dale Dolly was born in Corona, Queens, a neighborhood of New York City, on April 16, 1921. Her parents, Ivan C. Dolly and Helen Page Dolly, both valued learning and education and steadily encouraged her. Her father had wanted to become a chemist and had attended Cornell University, but was unable to complete his education for financial reasons and became a postal clerk. Dolly attended the local public schools in Queens and graduated from Hunter College High School in Manhattan. She credits her interest in science to both her father's scientific background and to influential books such as Paul de Cruyff's The Microbe Hunters. Dale Dolly enrolled in Queens College as a chemistry major, graduating with a BS degree in 1942. The following year, she received her MS from New York University and then went to Columbia University, where she entered the doctoral program in biochemistry. In 1948, she made history at that university, becoming the first African-American woman to earn a PhD in chemistry. Dolly began teaching during her college days as a tutor at Queens College. She began her professional career a year before receiving her doctorate when she accepted a position at Howard University in Washington, D.C. as an instructor in physical sciences. In 1951, she returned to New York, first as a visiting investigator, and then as an assistant in journal physiology at the Rockefeller Institute. By 1955, she had become an associate in biochemistry at the Columbia University Research Service at the Goldwater Memorial Hospital. She taught there until 1971 when she left Columbia as an assistant professor of biochemistry to become associate professor of biochemistry and medicine at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University in New York. Dolly conducted most of her research in areas related to the biochemical aspects of human metabolism how the body processes the energy it takes in, and the role of the kidneys in that process. She also focused on hypertension, high blood pressure, and atherosclerosis, atherosclerosis, accumulation of lipids or fats in the arteries. Her later work focused on the study of aortic heart smooth muscle cells in culture. During her career, she held several positions concurrently with her teaching obligations, such as investigator for the American Heart Association from 1958 to 1963 and career scientist for the Health Research Council of New York from 1962 to 1972. She was also a fellow of the Council on arteriosclerosis, and the American Association for the Advancement of Science, a member of the American Chemical Society, a member of the Board of Governors of the New York Academy of Science from 1974 to 1976, and a member of the Harvey Society, the uh, American Society of Biological Chemists, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the National Association of Negro Business and Professional Women, the Phi Beta Kappa, and Sigma Xi. In 1988, Dolly contributed to a scholarship fund set up at Queens College to aid African American students interested in the sciences. Dolly, who married Vincent Clark in 1961, retired from teaching in 1986. 
Citations are in the description.